let's uh, just dive right in. I was uh, I pulled in immediately by the the pitch. I you know I got an email from a publicist and said, hey, would you like to talk to some of these authors? And it just the the cover uh, right away the way it got my attention. And then I, I read the just the pitch that it's the Toy Story meets the Lord of the Flies. And I said, yes. Oh my God, that sounds wonderful. Send that to me immediately. Um, and then I got it and I thought, well, I hope that this doesn't uh, wuss out on me and it's not as dark as I'm going to hope that it's going to be. Nope, no danger of that, friends. This is <laughs> a beautifully, wonderfully dark book. Um, it's just, uh, who, who is the ideal reader uh, for the Teddy Saga? Well, I hope it's kids. I hope it's... Uh, uh something in the range of older elementary but the the way i write and you can say this about all my young adult stuff um um and i write with this i now write middle grade young adult and adult um i think they all all of my books are accessible to adults which is a weird way to say what you normally say the other way around um so i i try and that's sort of intentional i try to cultivate a style that um, that uh, would be appreciated by the sort of what the publisher will mark on the book as the inten- intended reader, whether that's young adult or in this case middle grade. Um, but I'm also, I also want, I want to enjoy it as an adult and want other adults to uh, be able to enjoy my books too. And so it's a weird, t- uh, delicate balance, um, and there's no telling if I'm, if I'm striking that balance, but I certainly try. I don't think there's a reader out there that shouldn't be reading They Threw Us Away. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm incredibly yes. pro-Teddy. <laughs> so, good, good. <laughs> uh, probably the best place to start. I try never to summarize other people's books. I've got a lot of questions for you about They Threw Us Away, uh, burning questions that, that must be answered. Um, but, uh, so that esteemed audience who is about to purchase their copy September 15th uh, will be available everywhere. Um, if you could, ju- I never summarize other people's books because okay. I'll, I'll get it wrong. I'll say it's, it was a book about stuffed tigers and you'll stare at me like, no, that wasn't what it was. Um, so if you would just give us kind of a, give us the audience an overview of the story and then we can dig in and talk sure. about it a bit more. Sure. It's about a group of um, uh, four teddy bears who, who wake up, who come to life um, at, in a trash dump in a landfill more or less. And they don't know why they've come to life, and they certainly don't know why they're in a, uh, a trash dump. Um, the last thing they sort of remember is being on store shelves and being destined for the loving arms of children. And not only are they in the, uh, the dump, they're, they're still in their boxes. Like, they were thrown away brand new. And so they begin what will eventually be a three-book journey to figure out why they were thrown away um, and to find out if there's something they can do to reverse whatever it is that they did wrong. And it's it's um, hopefully moving, but it is, you know, scary in parts. Um, uh, intentionally so. I mean, it's, it's, it's not hopefully going to give too many people too many nightmares but uh it is um you know for a, a book for this age range age range it is it does have some harrowing spots i mean they are teddy bears so it's not you know there's a limit to how how uh violent it can be we're talking about teddy bears here um but yeah what they they go <laughs> yeah i know but they go on a very difficult journey that's going to change them with the idea being that they're born innocent that these are four teddy bears who are completely brand new, uh, sinless, have never done anything wrong. But in their journey, they're going to kind of emulate the growing up process. And they're going to um, become not just physically dirty, but their their innocence is going to change. Um, and they're going to have to occasionally do bad things, and they're going to have to um except that they're that they have faults and so it's it's also a, a a fable in that sort of sense about growing up 